Hey guys, this is Tawner, and we may have accidentally missed a slight hint here um, towards one of the characters that is going to be coming to the game, the War Horseman, or a character um, most likely coming, I'd say, pretty soon. And I want to give a huge shout out to Andre Hulk Smith for pointing this out to me. And this is coming from, um, obviously, my interview with Ciara. Um, if you haven't read, the, uh, like, if you haven't watched that, make sure you check it out, because it was really, really fun. And she's like a massive comic nerd, so it's been really great to kind of be able to discuss this kind of stuff with someone who's really enjoying like their job and working here. So this is the interview with Ciara here. The conversations, the debates that we have in those meetings is hilarious. Like we had one recently where we wanted a character to like jump up off screen, grab a meteor and then throw it down. <laughs> and it became a whole conversation of like, well, I feel like that's not like, it doesn't make sense for him to like jump out of like dojo. <laughs> So we're talking about a new character that's coming to the game, or they were talking about adding in a character, and they wanted one of the animations for that character to be them jumping off screen, grabbing a meteor, and then flinging it down to the ground. Now... Uh, Andre pointed this out to me, and I wanted to say a huge thanks to this. This is Hulk's Gamma Crush Evolution. So, Hulk's Gamma Crush ability within the Marvel vs. Capcom series, um, like the original Marvel superheroes one, you'll see here. And you'll notice he does his ability, jumps off screen, and grabs a meteor, and smashes it down. He's got the same in the, this is the Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Capcom um, Clash of the Superheroes. He jumps off screen here, grabs it and smashes it down. We've got, it's basically his kind of key animation throughout the series is his big kind of finisher here, grab, jumping off and grabbing a meteor and slamming it down. And he's had this throughout so many of the different games. I, I'm actually shocked that I didn't pick up on this earlier because I used to play the heck out of this game. Um, but you'll notice here, this one here, this is uh, Mar Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. You'll see this is Red Hulk, or at least a Hulk that is red, jumping off the screen, grabbing a meteor and slamming it down. Even in the no most recent ones, the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, there he goes, doing the same thing again. So, what could this potentially mean? This is potentially, I mean, it, it could be really any character. Any character could be interacting with this meteor as kind of, um, as I originally thought. But to me, at least, this is kind of, this is potentially our first hint towards a character coming for the next patch, or at least coming soon with Red Hulk. We've obviously heard the rumors about him coming to the game. He's also been in the files since the very start of the game, um, he originally had a kind of silhouette kind of thing in the files for quite a while, uh, where it's just like a, a black portrait, essentially, of him in the file set. So, obviously, this would suit some kind of Hulk character, most likely, but the Red Hulk being potentially the Horseman of War that we've heard about for quite a while, um, being like this big character within the comics that a lot of people love and have been asking for from the start. It kind of makes sense that they'd use something massive for his animation. So I really hope that they did end up going with this. As I said, they were like having a bit of an argument about it as to if it kind of makes sense. And then they said, hey, well, I, I mean, Scarlet Spider gets to drag a car out from random places. Why can't he jump out of, like, the dojo and grab a meteor? So, uh, I am incredibly excited about this. We've obviously heard the rumors of the rest of the team. Abomination, Brawn, a rework to Hulk and Red Hulk as well. Uh, sorry, Red Hulk as, and She-Hulk as well. Um she Hulk and Hulk getting reworks. So it would be amazing. Now, we also had the confirmation on where exactly, like which game mode he's going to uh, be, or which character, the which game mode the War Horseman is going to be in, um, which I can't exactly find off the top of my head. Here we go. 
can tell you that it's safe to assume that the war horsemen will be for war. I so the confirmation that the war horsemen will be for war as well. So I am incredibly excited about this. Um, now, I don't know if Ciara put this in there on purpose, expecting us to be able to pick up on it, or if it was like a, um, hey, no one's going to be able to get this reference in a million years. But again, huge shout out to Andre for pointing this out to us. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully this kind of makes sense to you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Another huge thing that I did want to point out is that we've got a new thing going over on my discord uh, we've got this channel here which includes helpful tips so certain helpful tips sometimes there's stuff like hey the victory blueprint's going to be starting in two and a half days make sure that you're hoarding your alliance war currency the training modules update's going to be going live in roughly this long make sure you save your energy until then but sometimes it's stuff like for the future as well like saving your tech and bio gear for the next patch based on the rumors most likely it's going to be based in like actual fact but sometimes if I I am confident about a rumor that I'll post, hey, start saving this gear potentially from here. We also know that it's unlikely that we'll get Valkyrie before the 20th of July due to the fact that the unlimited X-Men Red Stars start on the 13th of July and they usually go for a week. So you're looking at that around the 20th of July. But anyway, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Start saving your Gamma Uniques now because Hulk uses them, Vision, Iron Man uses them, and guaranteed Red Hulk and uh, Abomination probably use them as well. Have a great day and goodbye.